guys, guess what I'm riding ponies today? I'm so excited. So guys, now I'm gonna start riding. Today I'm riding a pony called Roy. He's very old, so that's why we didn't canter. So now I'm mounting him. I had to use a stool because I'm um, a bit too short to just get on from the ground, it would be very hard. So now she's just gonna make my stirrup the right length so that my foot is like in it good. Um, you need to make sure they're not too long or too short. Um, otherwise it won't work. So now she's gonna lead me to warm up. She's just leading me around the arena like a lot. She did it for quite a lot. Now she's teaching me how to hold my reins. I had to have my thumbs up and then my pinkies like around. Um, now she's teaching me how to make him go and like how to make him turn when I want him to turn. So guys, it started raining, which was kind of annoying, but I didn't really care because I was just happy that we didn't have to stop because I was having too much fun. So now she's gonna teach me how to make him stop. You had to say like, woo. Um, I think he just is very hungry. He put his head down. So now we're te she's teaching me how to like turn to all the different letters because there's letters all around the arena. Now we're going to do some pole work, which was very fun, but it wasn't very different to normally walking. It, was, it just felt cool that like I knew how to do that because when you're watching, it seems like it's not just sitting there, but you just kind of have to sit there like normally walking, but it's very fun. Now we're starting to trot. It was very hard. I didn't really like sitting trot because it was very bumpy and I felt like I was going to hurt him, but it didn't hurt him because of the saddle. It was also very bumpy. And now we're doing rise trot, which at the start I wasn't very good at it, but I got a lot better. So he keeps stopping like halfway through and then I have to keep on like kicking him. He was very lazy when we were doing this. So now we're having a quick walk break and now we're done and we're dismounting. So now we're leading him back to the stable so we can groom him. I bet he's really tired because he's had a big day. I'm really excited to groom him because I have only done it once and it's really fun. So now um, the person's teaching me how to tie up the knot. It's so that the horse, if there's an emergency, they can just pull a string and then it'll undo. So, like, if there's a fire, then they can just run away. It looks really tricky, but I'm going to see if I can learn it. So now we're going to start to untack him. And first we're going to put on, take off the saddle, and then we'll take off the bridle. So he just loves to eat his hay. That's all he wants to do all day. And I have to remember to take off my helmet because it was kind of annoying. It was kind of making me sweaty. So I was really happy I got to take that off. So first we have to um, do up the stirrups so that when they're on the saddle rack, they don't fall off. And now we're doing the... Um, girth strap we're undoing it so that we can take off the saddle so we got the girth strap undone and now I'm just giving him a lot of pats because he's really cute um oh my gosh he really just wants his hay he doesn't feel like having any pats right now now he's just attacking his hay even more that's all he wants to do so now we're undoing the bridle buckle and it was kind of hard because he was tossing his head around everywhere, but we did it. Um, I ended up getting off only half of the bridle, so now it's my turn to pull it off. The reins are still stuck on his head, so I needed a bit of help with that. Now we've got the bridle off. He's still continuing to attack his hay. Um, he's very vicious. Um, now we're going to start grooming him. We're first using the body brush, I think, 
or the dandy brush, one of them. And we just, like, you just have to brush in the way that the hair's going to get off, like, all of the dirt from his fur. And now we're brushing his bum because it got very dirty because it wasn't covered with the saddle. Now we're going to use the... We're going to brush his mane. So there's, like... It's not really a special brush. You just need you need a normal brush and you just brush their mane because it gets naughty like ours. Now I'm using the curry comb. You just like go in circles and sometimes you can like brush it normally straight. This like gets all the dirt to come up to the top, I think. It just really helps. Now I got to feed him a carrot. I had to have my hand really, really flat, otherwise he might accidentally bite my fingers. I think that he tried to bite my fingers because I felt a little nip because he was feeling very aggressive with his food today. Um, Yeah, so now I get to feed him another one because he's really hungry. Now he's just eating it very fast. Um, And... Yeah, so now we get to put on his rug because if he didn't have his rug, he'd be freezing. It's like going to sleep without a blanket. Um, Now we're doing up all of the straps so it doesn't fall off. You had to do one, like, under his leg and then there's one, like, under his tummy and then there's one near his chest. We also have one, like, over his neck so his neck doesn't get cold. This one was kind of hard because the buckles were kind of stiff and he was moving his neck around a lot. He was getting angry because the person was covering his hay. So guys, it's really funny. He had to have a tail extension because a full bit of his tail. So now I'm just giving him lots of pats because it was so fun spending time with him and I loved it. And I cannot wait to come again and hopefully I can ride him. He really loves his food, guys. Now I'm going to give him one last big hug. Bye, Roy. And then I got a bubblegum ice cream on the way home. Bye, guys.